Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll... we'll find you a healer. Here? No, you won't. I know who you are. And if you think, I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Try not to talk. Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned. It wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Oh, we 
In ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Joshua. Sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this, if you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said no. These flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Just try and get to my brother now. Fiend.
Lawless. Defy your fate. Wow, that that was a beautiful, beautiful cutscene. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, to be honest, I was expecting, you know, us playing as Joshua for a section just to fight against Ultima, but to be honest, that cutscene was better. That cutscene was a lot better, and I'm glad that Clive was able to see Joshua. Hopefully, it isn't for the last time. Alright, let's go ahead and continue on. But that was really cool to see Joshua, and it was actually really cool to see Ultima in its, I believe, human form? I don't know if I should say human form, but let me know down in the comment section if you thought of the fight. And now, let's go and continue on. It is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. silks from the master weavers of Randalar. Come, come, feel its softness. Jogobo Make a nice steaks, gift to your wife. Sausage, ah. All from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives, all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Milady, perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road. I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives. Good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kupka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. 
Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. We don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw! Sit here! That was cool! The Power of Thunder, Clive has claimed a portion of the Icon's Roma essence. Attuning with Roma not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Thunderstorms, which rains love and... What? That's cool! That's actually really cool! Down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Ability details are found on the abilities tab in the main menu, okay? Ooh, this is cool. We get the staff. We get the staff. Okay, that's really cool. Actually, shoot, can I take a peek at it now? And we get access to these already. Oh, I gotta check this out. Y'all, just give me a second, please. Roma channeled. Ooh, okay, this is really cool. Okay, so, actually, let me see. Did I master this? I didn't do that yet. Okay, maybe it's better that I haven't done it yet, so I could probably look into these. So we got Blind Justice here, okay. Power Drive, ooh. Okay, that looks cool. Let's see, Thunderstorm. That looks pretty cool as well. Hmm, Lightning Rod. Okay. That looks really cool. Thun what is this? Judgment Bolt. Shoot, don't show me this. Don't show me this because if if I see this, I'm gonna wanna, you know, learn it. Oh gosh, man. I was so tempted to, you know, just master gouge, but since we got access to this now, I think I'm gonna save up my points to get this. Ah, shoot, okay. Yeah, I have to save up my points to get this. This is way too cool to pass up. Alright, so let's see. What moves do we got access to now? 
Let's see, we got Pile Drive. All right, that one's cool. And Thunderstorm. All right, cool, cool. So this is actually all really nice. Let's see over here. The Favor of Wind. I want to keep that there. Ring of Timely Assistance. Shoot, man. Do I want to switch this out? Because to be honest, I want to get that accessory so I can get like that little cooldown bonus for the Flames of Rebirth. Dang, man. I need more space. I need more charm slots. Dang. Increase the heat wave damage by 9%. Hmm. You know what? Or I can switch this one out. You know what? I think that's what I'm about to do. Unable to change gearing. No! No! Okay, let's get this done real quick. Let's see the moves. Ooh, okay. That's neat, that's neat, that's neat. Okay, I can work with this. It's all really cool. And I gotta mention. It's cool that Clive said that line that Sid, Sid said. Man, I, I'm still trying to fathom like Sid's gone. Sid's really gone. How many are there? Man, t turning into the icon was taking a toll on his health, and I guess it was. Bound to happen sometime. Right, now let me get this collateral in. Ooh! Times eight collateral. Did I get all of them? I did. Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! The kitten? Oh! They brought a pet. Fast. We'll have to be faster. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that actually looks pretty cool. But I'll still want, you know, Turgo as a pet though. Okay. But you know what? It just came to my you know, just dawned on me. If Clive's new name is Sid, could that be yeah. like the Sid that we knew? Was he Sid all this time or did he just don the name Sid? I wonder why Clive is taking the name Sid now. Nope. Come on. Wait, did we not evade out of that? No! Come on. Ooh. So many attacks. Come on. Come on, kitty. Okay. Heat wave. Gouge. Let's get this one. Get this one. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Man. Ooh. Keep it up in one beast. Keep it going. Over 10,000 damage. That's crazy. Okay. I dodge on that one. What's Savage? Oh no. Dang it. Let's get closer. Let's see. Go ahead and do this. No! Here you go, Jill. Go ahead and do a little break. Come on. Nope. Nice. Okay. Looking good. Come on. Come to me. Ooh! You got that scout. Let's see. Let's go with this too. Nice. Republican yeah. War Panther Slain. Nice. Real nice. And look at all that guild just stacking up. What's this lightning shard? The power of the icon Roma. Made manifest, the shard of crystals tingles the palm and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear, used in crafting. Nice. Let's keep it going.
to hell with this! They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Wow, that that's crazy. Like they didn't they didn't even want to be saved. That's that's really crazy. Wow. And another thing, we're back on the world map and it's sad. We don't even got access to the hideaway no more. Dang. I guess for right now, let's go ahead and make our way over to the hideaway? What? Oh, shoot. Clive and Jill doesn't know what's been going on. Since before. Oh. They're going to find out it's been... It's basically in total ruins right now. Let's go ahead and make our way over there. That night five years ago. We destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. <sighs> I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want, and that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. <laughs>
Home sweet home. So it's been five years. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Dang. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to Otto. Ooh. The crafting recipe, huh? Okay. Let me go ahead and talk to Jiro real quick. Let's see. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnes. I expect he'll be in the mess. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and keep going then. This way. I gotta say, this place looks nice. Really nice. Shoot, let me know down in the comment section which hideaway, you know, design do you like better? Like, do you like this layout more? Or do you like the one that was before? Let me know, but I think this one's better to be honest. Let's see. Okay, we got somebody here. Where's the blacksmith at? What a forger. Sharon, are you still okay? You survived. And what can I do for you? Shoot, what should I do? Let me go ahead and ask about the past five years. Oh shoot, there's text dialogue. Alright, that's cool. How's it been? I remember it. You're out. Oh shoot, there's text dialogue. Alright. Has it really been five years since we left the old place? How time flies. I remember it like it was yesterday. We're all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome. Unkupka's lot turned up. Not that we knew it was them. They just poured in like plagues of rats, cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and bodies everywhere. There was. And a voice crying out for Sid to save us in the midst of it all. I'll never forget those cries. Try as I might. You're our leader now, Clive. Dang, alright, Clive. Got a bit of a promotion. Too bad it took Sid to, you know, utilize his life to help us get over here. But now let's go ahead and continue on. Let's see. Promise me you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that, come what may, Sid will save us. We'll do our best. All right, so let's see. Let's see what you got. Go on then. Hmm, I guess nothing new here. Okay, nothing new. It's all good. Ooh, what is this? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Channelers whispers. Automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effects will no longer... Anthony, you had a bit of a misread. Also, you needed a breather. Go ahead, edit out as needed. Channeler's Whispers. Let's see. It automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effects will no... Channeler's Whisper. Let's see. It automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effects will not trigger unless the ability charge magic is learned. Hmm, alright. Crimson Tassels. Increases limit break generation amount by 3% when dealing damage. Ooh, okay. Cobalt tassels. Increases limit break generation amount by 6% when taking damage. Okay. If I had to choose between the two, I'd go with this one. Hmm. I think I'm good here, to be honest. I don't need anything else, really. Yeah, I think I'm good. The music here. Ooh, elixir. Instantly restores all HP. Ooh, I need this. I need this, but this costs so much. No. Oh well, it's all good. I don't really need potions like that anyway. That I'll be alright. Does that one have? Well, it's cool talking to you. Ooh, there goes the blacksmith. Clive. All right, let's see what you got. What's that for, India? Ooh, what's this sword? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. But let me check out the options. Okay, looks like this is the only thing I want to craft, so let's do it. No scratches, right? Yes, let's equip that. And let's see, is there anything I want to reinforce? No, I think I'm good. Actually, let me see. Can I reinforce any of the swords I got? You know, the higher tier ones? I don't think I can. It's all good. Ooh, look at the new sword in the light. Oh, that looks serious. I love it. Nice. Okay. Now let's see. Let me go ahead and 
find Otto. Oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe I can find Otto going down this path. Let's see, I'm close. Let's see. Gotta go over this way. I mean, this chest there? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me go back over here. Let's see. Seems to be a chest over there, and I wanna check it out. Let's see what we're working with here. Wait, since I'm the leader now, the hideaway, do I get like, you know, leader-like upgrades? Or, you know, leader-like awards? Let's see. Wall of Memories. Oh, shoot, the oath. That's what Sid put his dagger through. Let's see, the oath. Created the day Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid. This crystal shard transfixed with twin daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made a friendship forged, and a legacy inherited. Nice. This is real nice. Alright. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Maybe a chest? Hmm, I don't think there's a chest in here. Alright, it's all good. Let's go ahead and get going. I'm trying to find Otto. Oh, hold up, there's a, there's a chest here. Goblin coin. Huh. I wonder what I can do with that. Okay. Pretty sure there's not another chest hiding about. So let's just get going. Go ahead and try to find Otto. Actually, let me check out the map. Let's see. So Otto is over here. Hmm, so I gotta go down this way. Back to the main deck. Back over here. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. It'll take me a little bit of time, but it's all good. See, just gotta go through here now. Okay, this layout's cool. I like it. Let's see. And I also love my new sword too. Let's go ahead and talk to you. Oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out? There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. So this is a gutted out airship, huh? Interesting. Actually, let's go and talk to you, buddy. Let's see. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Now, let's go ahead and talk to you. Vivian. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would Lude relinquish Ash. 
And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do not fear for your home. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Alright, sounds good. Let's see. Gotta make my way over here. But that's cool though that I got somebody that can, you know, brief me on what's going on. Or at least what happened. Let's see. Let's go through here. And go through the doors. Now we got someone else to introduce introduce ourselves to. Now who are you? Norseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Let's go ahead and hand over the book. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates, see if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap, we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. 
Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Alright. And, man, it's too bad that they lost their parents during the massacre. Dang. Also, what's this? Ooh, okay. A mineral most mighty. Alright, it's a little passage to read. Go ahead and pause if you want to. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Let's see. Let's go ahead and return to our chambers and, you know, rest up a bit. Or not. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Not a stolus. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. What could Gav have Oh shoot! The, the mark is gone. Oh, so Clive got it removed. But with the scalpel, though. Ooh. All right, now let's go ahead and go to our chambers. Go ahead and rest up. Actually, let's go ahead and read Gav's letter. Cool. Jill's here. All right. First, let's read the letter. Let's see the reading table. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the Icon reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. All right, cool. The Republic's play. Ooh, okay, that's a pretty cool animation. Dang, though, he lost his eye during the massacre. I'm sorry, Gav. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing. I reckon I'll see you're done to wear upon my return. Gav. All right, cool. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march. Leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain. War after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima.
If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Crystals. To sit. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just... Discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. The Gathering Storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? Alright, so I gotta go ahead and make my way over here. Let's see. Gotta go ahead and speak to Otto. Gotta go down this way. Back in that direction. Let's see. Let's go through here again. How you doing? I saw that person wave. Let's go ahead and talk to Otto. Let's talk to you. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's ball. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. She's fallen into the hands of the Empire. We could be next. Couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. All right, cool. Now let's see. Let's find the curse breakers. Where's the curse breakers at? Check out the local map. Hmm, it's not popping up on the map right now. Let's see. Actually, let me go ahead and go to the world map. Alright, so we gotta go from the hideaway to Martha's Rest. 
Let's go ahead and make our way over there. 